Now we are going to create a vehicle component and also add some new fields to our vehicles. So we are going to add a price field and an image field. And then we are going to move some stuff around in our uh, view application just to show it better and to make things a bit more logical. Okay, so first of all, we want to add prices and images to our vehicles. So I'm just going to go to my builder plugin, uh, choose view rent, uh, view rent a car. And now in <coughs> watch learn view rent a car vehicles, we are going to add a new field, uh, which we are going to be calling price. And it's going to be an integer, uh, it can be nullable. And that's about it. Save it. Save and apply. Uh, now we are going to go to our models and in the vehicle fields, we are going to add a new field. And that field is going to be for our price, which is going to be just a text field. So, so price and price by day. So this is going to be our label. So this is going to be the price of a vehicle for each day of usage. Okay, save that and add another field, which we are going to be using a file widget. So file upload. And uh, the field name is going to be image or oh, let's just leave it as image and uh, the label is going to be car image. Okay, file upload uh, is going to be in the image mode. So we are going to change that. And also you can change image width, image height, uh, whatever you like, so that it looks maybe a little bit better when you're entering your vehicles. Okay, save that. We don't need anything in our database for this because we are going to connect images to our vehicles uh, via a vehicle model in a PHP or in our backend. Let's just save this. Okay, great. Now, <clears throat> of course, if we go to vehicles and we want to create a new vehicle, we are going to get an error because it says the model uh, vehicle does not contain a definition for image. So we need to add that definition right now. So now in our API, so in plugins, watch, learn, uh, view, rent a car, uh, models, vehicle.php, we are going to add a connection to the images or relations. So we already have a relation for our locations, but now we want to have a relation for our image. And to do that, you would just do public attach one because we have only one image. If we want to have many, then you would do attach many and then we had have a gallery of images. But for now, we just are going to be using attach one and we want to add image from system models file. Okay, save this. And now if we go uh, to our backend, refresh the page, as you can see, this page now works. Now, uh, I'm just going to go to my vehicles again, go to vehicle number two, and I'm just going to add some vehicles. Uh, so that this isn't just, you know, vehicle one, vehicle two, and so on, we are going to name them, add prices, add images. So I added some cars behind the scenes. If we take a look at them, you can see that they have just a name, slug, maybe some description, uh, where are they located, price by day, and the image of a car. Okay, save and close. Uh, but if we check out uh, our API right now, we can see that we get the prices, but we don't get the images. So we need to put our images into our API so that we can show them on our front end uh, in our application. Now in routes PHP, as you can see, we are getting our vehicles with locations. Now we also need to get them uh, with our images. And to do that, you just do with, and then instead of just writing locations, you would open up an array because you want an array of uh, other properties that you wanna display on your API. And we are just going to add an image field. And that should actually be it. Save this. If we go to our backend right now, actually in our browser, refresh this. As you can see, now we have an image field 
and that image field consists of a lot of data which uh, some of that data will be very useful to us. So we have an ID, disk name, file name, file size, content type, title, description. So you can add the title and descriptions to your images if you, if you need to. Uh, the field is image, sort order, created, updated, path. So this is going to be very useful for us because we need a path to our image to display it and the extension of an image. As you can see, October gives you a lot of information about those images. So you can use them, you can use the file sizes, you can use the file names, titles, descriptions, and so on, whatever you need in your application. Now, if we take a look at our vehicle list, uh, we can see that it consists of two unordered lists which are displaying our vehicles. Uh, and this is not very good for us because what we want to do is we want to have our vehicle to be a separate component and then we want to loop through it. So to do that, I'm just going to create a new uh, file or new component called vehicle.view. Okay, and of course, open up template tags in it. And now we need some styling and some HTML. To help us with that, we just go to, uh, you just go to Google and search for Tailwind cards and you would get this page and I'm just going to copy all of this HTML. So we wanna display our vehicles in this card type of things. Uh, and I'm just going to go right here and just paste it in so that we have some styling and some HTML in it. Okay, so now let's try to loop through those vehicles. So first of all, let's just import our vehicle from components vehicle and then we need to register it. Okay, and now we can use it. So instead of these unordered lists, I'm just going to copy this V4 because we are going to need it and this key also. Copy this out, uh, remove all of this, and now we just want to loop through our vehicles. And to do that, we just do vehicle. And I'm just going to paste this in, but we are going to have much more properties right here. So I'm just going to put everything on another line. Okay, close this tag. And let's just see what is going on in our uh, application right now. So vehicle index in filtered vehicles. So we are getting filtered vehicles for, through our uh, computed properties from our store. And uh, of course we are using index for the key. Okay, save this, uh, check out what is happening in the browser. So if we go right here, refresh this page. If I choose a location of New York, as you can see, we get our vehicles, but this layout is currently bugging out. Uh, we are going to fix that <clears throat> a little bit later. But for now, as you can see, we are getting our vehicles. If I refresh the page, maybe choose Paris. I get now I get just two vehicles and so on. Okay, so we need to add some properties or some props to our vehicle component and then display those properties through our list. So I'm just going to go to my vehicle.view file and paste those properties in because we've done this a hundred times before. Uh, I don't want to waste your time or my time with that. So let's just go through it. We export the default. We have some props defined. So we have a name of our vehicle, description of the vehicle, image and price. So as you can see, all of this is uh, null for the default or required just for the name. So you actually need to add the name of your vehicle if you want to display that component. Okay. So now that we have our props defined, we need to define them in our template. So first of all, this is going to be the name. So this is going to be our vehicle name, right? Uh, next thing, we are going to have an image which is displayed right here. So image is a string and we are getting that image if we check out our API. So we will do image and then the path of that image, right? So let's just go right here and I'm just going to go here. Instead of this, I'm going to add image and this needs to be bind to SRC. 
so we are getting an image right here for the description this is going to be our description text and uh, which we can just do description actually the better way would be to use vhtml because in our description we may have some bolded text some italic text maybe even an image uh, or something like that so it's better to use vhtml for that and display our description right here description close this tag out uh, we don't need uh, these two but we're just going to leave this first one and uh, this is going to be our price and the price is going to be a dollar sign price price per day right so this is what we want to display okay save this of course this is going to give us an error in our console because we still didn't populate our components with the data so to do that we're going to go to our vehicle list right now and uh, we need to add some more pro properties right here so first of all we need to send a name to our component and since we are getting it from our filtered list that name uh, would be vehicle dot name right next thing we need uh, we need a description and the description is going to be vehicle dot uh, description okay uh, next thing we need an image and it's going to be vehicle dot image dot path because we need the path to our image so that we can show it right here okay and there is one more thing we need and that is the price so price is going to be vehicle dot price okay and uh, we should actually be good to go this isn't going to look very nice but it should work so let's go to our browser uh, go to our application refresh it for good measure and then choose a location so let's choose paris and nothing happens let's see our console we got two errors so cannot read property path of undefined hmm so the problem actually is in our reservation form that view because i forgot that we are still using the method from the previous episode which is called filter vehicles on api which will not get us images so to correct that problem we will just use this filter vehicles method uh, because we are not going to filter anything on the api at least not yet so let's just remove this save it uh, go to our browser and see if this works right now so if i go to paris as you can see i get two vehicles if i go to peckham i get one vehicle and new york i get three vehicles right here okay so this works but now we just need to make it display better because as you can see if you got three vehicles then whole page bugs out and you can't get to that select box anymore and actually I made one more mistake right here uh, in vehicle list uh, we are not getting for the name we are not getting vehicle that name but we should be getting vehicle that title because if we check our API you can see that the name of the vehicle is actually called title not name okay so let's just correct that save it now if we refresh the page go to paris as you can see now we have uh, the name of our vehicles okay uh, let's see if we get any errors no everything is displaying okay okay so let's just make this display a bit better because we don't want it looking like this so our layout is bugging out uh, because of uh, our vehicle list is displayed in our reservation form so i'm just going to remove it from there save it uh, then go to home that view and right here uh, below actually uh, yeah below hero block i'm just going to add another container 
and in here I'm going to add vehicle list. So we want to have vehicle list right here. Save this. Let's just check out how this works now. Uh, if I go right here, choose New York, as you can see nothing happens, but if we go down here, uh, now we see our vehicles here. Uh, also Paris, now you should see just two vehicles and so on. Beckham, right? Okay, so this is happening because if we go to our code editor, you can see that this is using eight screen. So it's going to be the full width of the screen. So we don't want that. I'm just going to remove that from here and from here. And I'm just going to set the height to be 64. Okay, save it. Check out our page right now. As you can see, now we get our uh, form right here and the vehicles below that. So if I choose Paris, we get just two, Peckham one, and that's about it. Okay, let's just make it a bit better. So we are going to go to vehicle list, that view, and just add some stylings uh, to our uh, surrounding div, so our, our container div, this right here. So let's just do something like uh, flex. So we want to display a flex box. Flex and we want to justify between. And we also want to have margin top of four. Okay, save this, check it out. Now this should be looking a bit better. Right, so our vehicles are now going to be spread out like this. Of course, you can do whatever you want with this. I just don't want it to look super hideous. Uh, and uh, let me just see if we can do something else. I'm just going to go to vehicle list that view and add flex wrap right here. Okay, save it. Let's check it out now. Okay, looks a bit better. Right, New York, great. Okay, so I will leave it uh, like this for now. Maybe I will do some additional styling behind the scenes, but for now, this is it. Okay, so this is it for this episode. Remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. And if I do some changes behind the scenes, I'm also going to push that to GitHub. So don't worry about that. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.